The X-Men 97 series focuses on the X-Men under Cyclops' leadership, especially with the death of Professor X. And recent revelations about Jean Grey and Cyclops' relationship is clearly taking the couple in a direction where they'll probably have to spend some time apart to make their way back to each other once again. This allows both characters to explore what might be possible with a new romance or new friendships away from each other. If we follow the comics, Emma Frost is a very likely contender as a new ally in Cyclops' life. Today, we explore the role of Emma Frost in past X-Men animated series and a possible return in X-Men 97 and even into Cyclops' life. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. She's asleep. I'm in her mind. Her defenses are down. Role of Emma Frost in X-Men, the animated series. Emma Frost made her first appearance during the Phoenix Saga when she was alerted to Jean Grey's Phoenix Force powers by a telepathic ripple. Working as the cunning White Queen of the Hellfire Club, Emma had planned to exploit Jean's Phoenix powers for their own gain. She hacked into Professor X's database, exploiting his then-weak telepathic defenses to gain more information on Jean Grey and her Phoenix Force powers. Emma shared this information with the other members of the Hellfire Club's inner circle who were searching for powerful recruits to aid in their cause and decided to go after Jean. With the help of another mutant named Mastermind, Emma used her telepathic powers to manipulate Jean's mind. The X-Men tried to prevent this, but they were too late, and under Mastermind's control, Jean joined the inner circle of the Hellfire Club. Mastermind's control over Jean was only temporary due to Jean's Phoenix Force powers overpowering him. Jean then helped free the captured X-Men, who defeated the inner circle club, causing them to flee. Emma Frost was also among the psychic mutants who were captured by Apocalypse during the Beyond Good and Evil arc, where Apocalypse had planned to rewrite reality using the psychic mutant's powers in the axis of time. Emma Frost's short appearance in the X-Men series captured her comic book counterpart's sophisticated ruthlessness, making her a perfectly compelling villain for the X-Men. That's right. Clear your mind. Emma and Scott's story from Wolverine and the X-Men. Emma Frost subsequently made another animated appearance in Wolverine and the X-Men. Emma, who used to run her own mutant academy in the series, was shut down and joined the X-Men in order to help them find their missing members, Professor X and Jean Grey. Emma subsequently became a valuable asset for the X-Men on their missions and also in their personal lives, even forming a trusted friendship with Cyclops. But this came to a halt when it was revealed that Emma was actually a spy for the Hellfire Club, a cult that was in search of the Phoenix Force's new host to destroy the power. After finding out that the Phoenix Force's new host was none other than Jean Grey, she promised to deliver her to the inner circle of the Hellfire Club to destroy the Force and break the cycle of death left in its wake. Emma had intended to weaken Professor X with the help of the hive mind mutants, the Stepford Cuckoos, and extract Jean Grey, but the plan backfired when Jean sensed her mind being attacked. Jean unleashed the power of the Phoenix Force, which led to the destruction of the Xavier Institute and Jean escaping. Having to come up with a new plan to find Jean, Emma put Professor X's comatose body on the shores of the mutant nation Genosha and used the X-Men to find the missing Jean Grey. After finding Jean, Emma and the Stepford Cuckoos decide to enter Jean's mind and remove all of Professor X's mental blocks. However, this ends up failing as well, because Jean, due to her psychic link with Cyclops, understood that her mind was being invaded and cast out Emma as well as the Cuckoos. Emma then requested the Hellfire Club postpone their plan regarding the Phoenix Force, as she needed Cyclops to control Jean's mind, but got mocked in return for her attachment to the X-Men. The inner circle of the Hellfire Club revealed that they had changed their mind about the Phoenix Force and wanted to use its power to cause destruction. Emma warned about the Phoenix Force being too powerful to be controlled and advised them to not go forward with their plans until she could return. Emma later decided to sacrifice herself to contain the Phoenix Force by making it hit her body, leading to severe wounds. Emma's final words were to Cyclops, asking for his forgiveness and then dying by explosion with shards of her diamond form falling from the sky. Scott, please Scott. Will Emma Frost return in X-Men 97? At San Diego Comic-Con 2022, characters who will be making their return in the new X-Men 97 series were announced. The Hellfire Club's inner circle, which includes Emma Frost, were among the members who were announced to make their return to the new series in the second half of the first season. Emma Frost will probably be shown in a more antagonist-heavy role, as she might be shown working alongside Mr. Sinister, Morlock leader Callisto, or even government agent Val Cooper. 
Scott, if the choice is leaving us or letting go of Jean, then let me try. How Emma Frost might enter Cyclops' life. Emma Frost might be returning as an antagonist in X-Men 97, but that doesn't completely rule out her getting involved with the X-Men as an ally or completely turning to the good side and joining the X-Men. After Cyclops' recent trials and tribulations of marrying a clone of Jean Grey and having to separate from his son Nathan after he was sent to the future because of Mr. Sinister's virus, it's not exactly a tough guess that Cyclops has taken quite a few heavy hits in just a few episodes, and with Mr. Sinister being geared up to be in the forefront once again, Cyclops will probably not be catching a break anytime soon. In addition to that, the real Jean is back, but her absence from Cyclops' life will probably create a distance that may need some time to reconcile. This positions Emma Frost as a probable contender to become Cyclops' romantic partner in the second season, or maybe even in her upcoming season one appearance. This isn't a far-fetched guess at all, as Emma and Cyclops did become a proper romantic pairing in the comics. In the new X-Men comics, Cyclops and Jean's marriage faced a similar rift like in the X-Men 97 series, once he had returned to the X-Men after spending a substantial amount of time being merged with Apocalypse. Jean was already tied up in her role as the headmistress of Xavier's school after Professor X left Earth, with the school opening its doors to more mutant students. On top of that, Jean's growing Phoenix Force powers completely took her time away from Cyclops, who was feeling neglected and felt his trauma from being possessed by Apocalypse was something that was being seen as trivial. Cyclops and Jean's growing distance led both of them to different places. Cyclops decided to share his trauma with a qualified therapist, Emma Frost, who was then a part of the X-Men. Even Jean, confused with the status of her and Cyclops' relationship, confided in Wolverine, leading them to kissing one time, though Wolverine advised her to stay with Cyclops. During a mission in Hong Kong, Cyclops shared his inner turmoil with Emma, leading to numerous psychic therapy sessions. Soon, Emma used these sessions to grow close to Cyclops, leading them to a full-blown telepathic affair as Cyclops and Emma grew closer. Cyclops was able to freely share the memories of the time when his mind was being corrupted by Apocalypse, something which he had failed to share with Jean up until that point. Emma, who was also going through an identity crisis as she grew distanced from her students, found solace in Cyclops. However, it wasn't a surprise that Jean ended up discovering their telepathic affair, and what a show it was as the panel showed Jean walking into the room with Emma and Cyclops in bed. Once Jean discovers the telepathic affair, she goes through Emma's hurtful memories to make her confess about her and Cyclops' actual affair. The two walk through Emma's memories from her childhood when she left her family to create her own path in life, becoming a dancer at the Hellfire Club by using her powers to make men see whatever they wanted, and then becoming the White Queen by working alongside the Black King. Jean even made Emma relive her memories of seeing the bodies of her deceased students, breaking her into tears. By the time Jean reached Emma's memories from their night in Hong Kong, Emma was able to break out of Jean's telepathic control with Cyclops intervening by breaking the door to their room using his laser vision. Cyclops made Jean go through his memories instead of Emma's, making Jean realize Emma and Cyclops never engaged in anything physical. Emma, though, later confessed to Wolverine that she was genuinely falling in love with Cyclops. Cyclops thereafter left Xavier's Institute to clear his mind and, following his return, got into a fight against Zorn, who was under the control of the sentient DNA, John Sublime. The fight against Zorn ended with Jean dying as Cyclops apologized for hurting her and she told him to continue living on. Devastated by Jean's death, Cyclops was telepathically contacted by an alternate reality Jean who urged Cyclops to be happy with Emma. This led to Emma and Cyclops becoming an official couple, even though many X-Men felt it dishonored Cyclops' longtime relationship relationship with Jean. Cyclops and Emma went on to rebuild Xavier's Institute as co-headmasters and gained approval from the X-Men as well. With the first season of X-Men 97 exploring a rift between the beloved couple of Jean Grey and Cyclops, it'll probably take a while for the couple to return to marital bliss as before. Jean will have to come to terms with missing out on what might have been years of her life, while well, Cyclops had his whole life turned upside down in just one day. Cyclops also has to come to terms with not being able to be there for his son, Nathan, who is in the future with Bishop. With how vulnerable both Jean and Cyclops are, and also with both of them standing at different parts of their life, Cyclops will probably need someone new in his life to understand him. This position can easily be taken by Emma Frost. Jean too seems to be going in the direction of what might be a bit of closeness to Wolverine, as when he tried to calm Jean and make her focus on his mind, she came to fully realize what she meant to it. If these dynamics are to be explored, then X-Men 97 can go in a unique direction where new aspects of both Jean and Cyclops' personality can be shown. With this, Emma and Cyclops' relationship might be a safe bet, as she will be making her reappearance really, really soon in X-Men 97. <laughs> 
Summers. She knows what she's doing. Now let's go! Marvelous Verdict. With a precedent already set in the comics, Emma Frost is quite the contender to become a new ally and emotional support for Cyclops as he goes through what seems to be a continuous streak of bad fate. With Cyclops and Jean's relationship left hanging in question and him losing his child with Jean's clone, what was seemingly a happy life came to a halt. It remains an intriguing mystery to see what direction Cyclops will take after this recent turn of events, and with the confirmed return of Emma Frost, one can only hope that the two may cross paths with each other sooner rather than later. That's all we got for you this time, True Believer, but don't forget to like and subscribe for more X-Men 97 content, and we'll see you in the next one. Scott. Please, Scott. Don't leave me.